Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn about advanced mate in Swordworks. So let's start. So to use advanced mates, click on mate and click on the advanced tab. So basically I am going to cover all these things. So first one is profile center. So what is profile center and how to use it? Let's say that I have to place this uh, cylinder on this surface if i use you know standard mates it will take a lot of command for example first i have to select this face and this face coincident then to align correctly at the center of it it's a you know take it two or three mates more so it's a nightmare for me or what i can use do is click on advanced mates click on profile center select this face and this face notice it automatically align and place correctly at the surface let's click cancel this let's select this face now now I will show you one more time let's say I select this face and this face automatically align and correct, correctly this place okay now let me show you one more time and this is the last time select this face and this face click on advance click on profile center Notice it is automatically correctly aligned at the center of the face. If you use standard method, it will take a lot of time. That is the reason we use something called profile center. And there is something command, uh, command like dimensions. For example, if I increase it, you can see it is going downwards. But if I click on flip dimensions, you see it is moving upwards. So this is what it does. Okay, what does it mean by log rotation? So if you click on lock rotation, basically is rotation is locked with the object. That is the purpose of lock rotation. So this is what a profile center is. Now let's try to look at other commands. For example, uh, symmetric and width. So first command that we are going to cover is width command. So suppose I have to place this thing exactly at the center of it. So how can I do it? For example, uh, let's correctly align this thing first. Okay, concentric. Click OK. Now I want to place exactly in between of it. Uh, you, you know that the distance from this face and the hair gap, I want equally distributed. So how can I do it? One way is that I will do maths. And hard work but we are ingenious we are lazy guys we don't do that kind of thing so I will click on width first I will select the face of the component in which basically I want to place my object then I will select the faces of the object that I want to place as you can see that I selected the face and it automatically aligned and calculated the math for me and it placed as you can see what is the constituent centered you can use free or other but center is the most common that basically I prefer you can choose dimensions if you want to place some dimensions or okay you can increase or decrease as per your requirement and percentage is up to you 50% 60% or you can just change as per your requirement in my case I prefer the centered one so this is what width may do so click ok now let's close this now suppose that let's hide this component such like this save all and unsubscribe this one suppose i want to place this object exactly at the center of it how can i make it now that is the issue with this for example i want to place this ball exactly at the center of these two i can't use you know any standards made to proceed so what I can do, so here I will use something called symmetric mate. So the difference between a width and symmetric mate is in width mate, you will select total four faces. In symmetric mate, you will select total three faces. Let me show you what I mean. So first you have to select, uh, so first select the symmetric mate. It is asking for the symmetry plane. Symmetry plane is that plane about which your object is symmetric. For example, in my case, this uh, pin is symmetric about the top plane. Okay. 
as you can see it is a symmetric about the top plane of this object and here i have to select the faces in which basically i want to align it so if i select this face and this face you can see you can observe that it is exactly at the center of it click ok now some people will say it is exactly at the center of it but not at here you can also do that if you select this face and select this line go to the advanced tangent and you can you know place this but symmetric is basically normally used when you have a known you know you don't have any kind of particular faces to select but you have some symmetric plane or face so by this point we have covered uh, profile symmetric width uh, what is left is linear couple and these two let's see one by one so now what i will do let's delete our mates so that you can you know understand better let's hide this as well click on mates advanced mates path mate linear and this one we will cover later onwards first i will cover this angle one so this angle mate is basically used uh, for to define angle range and click on here click on view temporary axis in reference and uh, first of all i have to select uh, the angle mates if uh, desire to define any angle mates uh, no so I have to define first something called angle mates so go to the standard click on here so how can I define angle mates so I have to select some faces so for example in which plane I want to define the angle let's say top plane of my object of this one and and the top plane of this okay so in this basically i have defined the angle click ok now i will go to the advance click on angle uh, made selections in made selection i will go down here select my angle okay my bad now we will talk about the another mate for example we will talk about this angle mate we will cover path linear actual and this one later onwards so to use it select your part and you have to define the angle between two planes or face in my case i am using plane so i am using top plane of this object and i am using the let's see I have to find angle so top plane of this object so you can see that some angle is defined uh, so this one defined what is the maximum and this one is what is the minimum let's say 0 to 30 degrees so basically what it means that uh, that click ok for a second and right click we'll close this so right click and fix this part so basically what it means that I can move this object 0 to 30 degree not further not lower than that so this is used to basically control it a question comes to your mind there is something like that in standard for example this one so the per the difference between this one and the advanced ones is that in standard one you will define an angle and it will be fixed at that angle it cannot be moved okay so it is fixed but at the advanced one basically you can move that is the difference for example uh, you can see it is moving now let me show you some other things you can do for example if i click on here you will something called flip dimensions so if i uncheck this now you can observe that i can move upward 0 to 30 degree not downwards previously it is moving 0 to 30 degree downwards but now i can move it 0 to 30 degree upwards so it's a uh, great thing for me okay now let's see some other examples so go to the mates and click on advance so there's something called this distance mate suppose i select this face and this face 
now it is asking what is the maximum distance you want to so let's say 50 and the minimum is 0 and click ok so what will happen basically with that let's wait, wait a minute let's fix this part right click fix so this object can move forward okay i have to align this as well concentric click okay so as you can see this object can move upward and downward only 0 to 50 mm so this is what this command does for example you have a robot hand or you have a some machine that you want that it cover a certain distance only not move further or lower distance than that at that point you will use this command let's uh, do some changes here so for example right click edit and if i click on the flip dimensions click ok i can move upward and downwards ok notice that dimensions are flipped so this is quite you know beneficial right click edit but it's up to you and a question comes to your mind what is this value here i'm defining the lower and maximum range here you define the default or you can say initial stage let's say 10 mm so by default it is at 10 mm okay so this is the purpose of this command now some commands that are left for example linear coupler so linear coupler is quite useful let's see so first thing that i have to do is uh, to so that you can visualize properly uh, let's show me what you have to select this mate and select the okay and also i want to show you this standard mate remember the standard not advanced standard so if i click on standard and i have select the right plane and the right plane of this click on distance enter the value distance let's say 60 okay 60 is less 160 160 is fine click okay the difference between this one and the advanced one is that i can't basically move this to forward direction the distance whatever defined between the planes it will be fixed in advance you can move that the distance range but in standard you can't okay now let's talk about the linear coupler so i will select the linear coupler let's say i select this face and select this face so what will happen if i move forward or backward you can see that other object is moving so this is the purpose of linear coupler let's say that what i want if it moves 1 mm forward i want it move down downwards 2 mm so i will click on here and type 2 so you can see it covering greater distance for the small movements you can make mechanism with this let's say make it 5 you can notice now if i click on reverse what will happen they both will go to the same direction arrow are helping to visualize you okay so i hope uh, your doubts on the linear couple is also you know cleared just in case if you want to learn about exercises to basically you know understand in more depth i highly recommend check out my free solve work course link in description and you can also you know try my motion and animation of this course if you want to learn in advance you know how to do animation etc the last one that is left is pathmate let's see how to do it so pathmate is quite easy so i will make it completely from scratch I will make it completely from scratch so that you guys can understand so first i have to uh, define or create a path so first i will create a path escape now what i will do uh, go to the assembly click on here new part i will create a path select this uh, i think triangular one is better like this make it three click ok escape 
select this line make it vertical escape cut out this thing features revolve boss space select this click ok and one more thing that I have to do is I have to define a point so point is a very important one without that we will face a lot of issues so the point basically defined about which uh, this part will going to move so exit this addition component mode so you can see that the point is here now click on mates click on advance click on path mate so first thing it is asking component vertex you can also select this pointy uh, edge or this but i recommend use this because it is at the center of it so i will select in this now it is asking for the path you want to follow so i'm selecting this one okay now you can see up vector up vector basically means in which direction you want to align Uh, delete this no this one okay this one will take uh, you know practice uh, this is not something like uh, you're trying and make it at first time so follow path yes this one so you can you know make your path follow and to do the animation you can also do the animation of it click ok so in that way basically your path uh, path is defined but how i can do the animation and you can see it is following the path correctly it's a good thing but how can i do the animation so animation part is covered in animation motion analysis because you know it's a animation topic and i am only going to cover the path mates so i don't think it's a good that i will cover the animation so you can try the animation in my basically animation course if you want to learn and i think that's all uh, i have covered i i guess all the advanced mates in details and if you still have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask and thanks for watching and have a great day namaste